I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Blast. I feel like I'm having a, a talk with Gareth A. Davis every day on camera. There's <laughs> a lot going on in boxing right now. Just get your opening comment and reaction to um, reportedly Conor Bayon failing a, a drugs test and, yeah, potentially the fight being off on Saturday, Gareth. Well, I mean, on an extraordinary day, Umar, of revelations, and I think a sharp test for boxing's ethics barometer, um, Conor Ben's obviously insisting that he's a clean athlete um, and that this weekend's mega fight with Chris Eubank will go ahead in spite of the failed drugs test for a banned substance. Um, look, he has, uh, as we know, tested uh, positive for a drug that is taken by uh, women. Um, and but it can increase testosterone in men. Mm. That's the clomiphene is the drug. <laughs> um, uh, but it, what do I think about it? Well, it's a tragedy. I mean, if he has taken drugs, that's a great shame. Um, the weird thing is, it didn't flag up with uh, UCAD UK Anti Doping. Yeah, it flagged up with the with VADA, the Voluntary Anti Doping Association, that he and um, Chris Eubank both agreed to sign up to, I think. I think Chris is on it as well. Um, uh, it's, 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 a, it's exhausting. It's been an exhausting day of lots of comments from lots of people and um, people directing lots of things. I'm sure you've had it towards me as well to look into certain things. Um, we don't know at this point on Wednesday night, what is it, 835 7.35, whether the fight is still on. Um, we're, we're told that there's hearings going on tomorrow. Could that be with the boxing board who've removed themselves and prohibited the event? Um, it could be the Luxembourg board. I remember covering the Hey Chisora fight in 2012 when they used the Luxembourg board because they wouldn't license Derek Chisora. Um, David Hay, it didn't matter because he didn't have a license with the British board at that point. So he just took one out with Luxembourg. It's a very quick turnaround. Um, and I mean, I'm saying it off the top. I, I, I just feel that, um, you know, I asked Eddie Hearn, the last thing I've had with him tonight is he's got no answers at present to whether the eubank Ben rivalry 29 years after their fathers met continues um, in 48 hours, 72 hours, or we face a postponement to a later date. I think the later date would be the most fitting way of ensuring moral clarity for this situation. Boxing is inherently dangerous. There are rules for a reason and innocent or not, the case ought to be clarified from the findings. Otherwise, why sign up to a testing system? Right. OK, so we know, of course, as you said, it was a VADA test that was failed. So... Um, Conor Ben can't be suspended by the board, even though the board have said um, they don't want the fight to go ahead this weekend um, because it wasn't a UCAD test that was failed. They can't suspend the fight in question by Conor Ben. But <clears throat> because a, a VADA test has been failed here and in any situation where a VADA test gets failed um, on the week of the fight or near the fight, even if he's innocent, which could come out later, um, in the weeks to come, should the fight this weekend go ahead where we, we don't know whether he's innocent or not? No, that's what I just said. No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't because you have testing for... for Look, whether he's put it in his body, whether he hasn't put it in his body, whether someone else has put it in his body, whether they've inadvertently put it in his body, whether he's taken medicine that belonged to his wife inadvertently, it's there. There's a trace metabolite of it. Um, Nick Blackwell, Gerald McClellan, Michael Watson. These two families have a history of vicious fights and people not being well after them. 
Michael Watson, Gerald McClellan, Nick Blackwell, thankfully are all still alive, but they had to, horrible fights those nights. Now, I'm not saying that the guys were taking banned substance when they fought them, but what I'm saying is horrific things happen in boxing at times. We cannot afford when someone has a positive substance in their system that's shown up by the rulings that they've signed up to, that they go ahead and have that fight and run the risk that we are then allowing the opponent to be horrifically damaged. Now, I know Chris Eubank has said he'd take the fight because he doesn't want to walk away. Neither of them want to walk away from 3 million, 20,000 fans selling out the arena in an hour, all the interest it's grown and grown all week. We've talked about it already this week. It's grown and grown. It's, it could do it could do a million pay per view buys now. This event, if it went ahead. But the point is, the safety of the fighters always comes first. And sometimes they're not. They don't even think about their own safety. You know, you can call me a stick in the mud for having that attitude about it. But I think when when something like this shows up, he can prove his innocence if he has to. But I don't think they should be stepping into a ring. They may well step into a ring under the Luxembourg um, uh, boxing board. But I just don't, I think it's morally wrong. I think it, you know, I, I think, why does the show have to go on? Why can't it be held over for another time? Um, and if it is positive, then he may get a two-year ban. Um, you know, um, I know Connor well. I, do, I don't see him as a cheat, you know. Um, but you never know what goes on in people's minds or what goes on in their camps or whether they inadvertently take something you don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. That's the truth. Um, but my, my feeling is boxing is not doing itself any favours here okay. by going ahead and having the fight. Last, what's, your take? what's your take? Last question. Nice try, Gareth. Last question. If Chris Eubank Jr. was your client and you represented him i.e like wasserman and the Sowlands do would you let him get in the ring this saturday he still wants to fight but would you let him get in the ring well i'll probably never in that be in that position so it's easy for me to say no i'll probably never be his promoter but i've spoken to his promoter today i've spoken to his agent today they've got really famous people flying in from all over the world it's all costing millions you know, it's, these two are set for the biggest payday of their lives. And it's very tempting for them, of course, uh, not to pull out. But, you know, from where I sit, um, no, I, I think they should pull him out. That's not saying I'm not going to report on the event, because I will, because we need to be there to report on it. Um, I'm not going there for pleasure. I'm going there to work. Um, I'm not saying it's not pleasurable either. But, it, but in what I'm saying is in this scenario, um, something's come up. It, 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 it sets a pre precedent, doesn't it? That's the problem. Um, you know, um, I don't know. It's, 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 I'm absolutely exhausted by this. I was exhausted by the Fury Joshua stuff last week. And it feels like we're back in the same place again with, with it's never straightforward in boxing. And maybe that's why we always say expect the unexpected, you know, or never say never. Um, I don't know. I, I think there's things. There's still things to come out here. I'm, I mean, I think they've known about this for a while. I don't think they knew about this. They just found out about this today. And why? Why did Connor say that he spoke to Chris Eubank Jr. today on the phone? And he clearly didn't because Eubank said he didn't ring him this morning. Maybe the teams spoke in some way, um, but I don't know. It's the board don't want it to go ahead. They've got their reasons. Because they don't want, if I can say, blood on their hands. Yeah. You know? You'll use that as the headline now. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> um, but they've prohibited it for a reason. But they can't, as you say, they can't suspend him because it's not under the auspices of their testing. I think the question we have must ask at some point this week is, do you can test for that substance? you know mm. listen gareth appreciate your quick reaction to today's events and i'll see you at the press conference tomorrow will you be there maybe maybe all right leaving us on a cliffhanger gareth uh, thank you for your time and uh, i'll speak to you soon all right thank you yeah, Zuma. Yeah.
I'm gonna share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. <laughs> See if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.